Hey guys, welcome back. So in the um, in the Dollar General videos where we create a Google spreadsheet and write out scenarios so we can purchase products and figure out how much we're going to pay, um, you guys know I typically do those kind of videos um, every week for the Saturdays 5 off 25 and the week um, for the 3 off 15 survey coupon. So the last video that I created, I made nine different scenarios and it took me forever. Honestly, what takes me the longest is to set and add up every column. So someone had asked me in that video if I knew how to um, automatically make the sum come in the column or the row. So I, it was kind of my goal this week to figure out how to do that. I did take a computer class when I was like, 10 or 12 or something and I learned how to do that but over time I just basically forgot how to do that so this week I did learn how to do that um, and not only for Dollar General other stores when you're creating a spreadsheet of what you want to purchase and how much in coupons you have and things like that this can help you when you get up to the register know exactly what you're gonna pay out of pocket so there obviously is a couple different ways um, that you can do this. You can create this, the sum, the total, either by row or columns. So the first one here, we're going to do by columns. Um, just to show you guys, so you guys are able to go do this uh, yourself. So the first uh, scenario that you're looking at here, this is normally how I create a Dollar General scenario. I'll put the item in a column, the price of the items in the next column, how much in coupons I have in the next column, and then finally the last column is how much um, out of pocket this would total. So normally what I do is I just go in and I'll add up this row first and then put the total, this row next, put the total, um, and this row, and I'll add the last row up, um, but see I already have the totals here, so we're gonna X, we're gonna delete those totals. Um, and then I'll subtract how many coupons I have um, from the total of all my items. And it should be the same amount as the last column. So instead of totaling those out, what I'm gonna do is highlight the whole entire column. And I'm gonna go up here on the top of my spreadsheet. And this is just a Google spreadsheet. So as long as you have internet, you can just go to, or a Google account. Um, you can just go to Google Sheets and get this up yourself. So this um, this little sign here, it looks like a backwards three. After I've highlighted that whole column that I want to total, I'm gonna go to this backwards three and click on it and hit sum. So if you come back over here, it now looks like that. So if I just click off of it, it doesn't matter anywhere on the sheet, it's gonna automatically total that up for me. So I'm gonna do that for all of the um, columns here. So I go over here and hit sum, and now that's totaled. And finally, the last one, go over here, hit sum, and those are totaled. So basically what I would do is subtract $11 from $17.95 and make sure I end up with $6.95. This is a 3 off 15, so I would then take $3 and subtract it from $6.95, which would give me $3.95 as my total out of pocket plus tax. So another way to do this is going to be to go ahead and put the item how much it costs in this column. And then when you put in the amount of the coupons, all you have to do is put uh, a minus sign in front of the price. So if I have Schick Sensor 2 razors in store, they cost $3.50. We have a $3 off digital coupon. So when I typed in $3, I just hit minus $3. And I actually already totaled that one up there. You can see, because I just wanted to make sure that worked when I show you guys. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and highlight these. I'm going to go to that backwards looking three, hit sum, and it automatically did it there. So uh, $7 minus two is $5. And I'm going to go ahead and do this for all of my rows. And there we 
we go, guys. That's pretty easy peasy. So now I can take this last row, which is my out of pocket, highlight all of those, hit sum, and it's going to total that up for me. So my total out of pocket would be $7 um, minus $3 because it's a 3 off 15. Now the only thing I want you guys to notice here is that sometimes it will round it off. I don't know how to stop that. So on this tied simply, it should have been 95 cents here instead of a dollar because this is the same exact scenario that we did before that totaled to 6.95 and instead of putting the exact of $6.95, it put in $7. I don't know how to stop that. Either way, this is very helpful. Um, so I just wanted to share it with you guys. I mean, this way you're able to go in and make your own scenarios. You can essentially create a spreadsheet, like if you intend on shopping at Walmart, put the um, the item, how much it costs, and how what the value of the coupon is, and figure out exactly what your out-of-pocket would be when you go to pay. Of course, you would have to remember to factor in your tax. Um, but that way you know exactly when you go to the register and your total's $23, you know if that's right or not. Because sometimes they neglect to take off a coupon or something like that. Somebody told me a story the other day where they went to Dollar General, they paid, and then after they had swiped their debit card and paid, the cashier said, oh, um, your coupons didn't work and handed them back and they didn't even realize the coupons didn't work. But if you know what your total should be before you pay, um, you know, obviously it can save you a couple dollars in the in a long run or keep you from having to return items to get your money back. So it is pretty important, especially if you're couponing, to know um, how much your total should be exactly. So that's it for today, guys. I am creating the Dollar General scenario video right now. Obviously, I just thought to share that with you guys. Um, I thought it was very valuable information for me. Obviously, this is going to save me a ton of time. I'll be able to get my scenarios done way earlier in the week because it does take me a lot of time. i got to add all those up. Usually, I'll add them up twice just to make sure my math is right and I don't make a mistake. And then you guys go shopping and oh no, it's, you know, I did, I had a mistake. So, um, yeah, so this should really help me out and I hope it helps you guys out too. If you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, give the video a thumbs up and comment below if you have any, um, awesome secrets about using an Excel spreadsheet because that can help a lot of us who are not so computer savvy, um, can really help somebody else out. But um, we'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.